All right, going to do a video showing another example of the papal Islamic type of tactics that the cult of Stephen Anderson, known as the New IFB, will use against their detractors. In this case, they have a guy named Bo Ballard who got sideways with one of Stephen Anderson's lackeys who runs the cult of Steadfast Baptist Church in Jacksonville, Florida, one of the little puppet pastors of Anderson, and he has his little satellite plant over in Oklahoma. And this guy uh, named Bo Ballard essentially got sideways with Shelley and, of course, got kicked out of the church and has been, a, you know, essentially in typical new IFB fashion, the same way they treated Adam Fannin and the same way they've treated me, not to the extent of what they've done to him, but I, I've been at the receiving end of some of their typical slander and just overall Pharisee type of just carnal attacks they like using that mirror what you'd see from any kind of Muslim or any kind of, you know, Catholic from the Dark Ages. But essentially he gets sideways with Shelley, and of course now he's, he's, he was, you know, receiving in from all kinds of attacks and slander from the new IFP. Because, you see, whenever you leave the group, you're now reprobate, you're lost, you're going to bust hell wide open. And they constantly berate, you know, do unload this barrage to their followers. So then they actually are convinced that pretty much if you go against this group, you're now just some kind of lost reprobate. Okay, here's a clip of a compilation of a bunch of new IFB goons and cultists going after Bo Ballard. Oh, by the way, just quickly got to mention, I forgot to put this in an earlier clip, but the uh, source of these clips I'm going to show are from a channel named Jeff Dollar. He's done some stuff exposing the new IFB. I don't agree with his, his uh, Calvinism. I've actually done a lot of stuff against Calvinism on my channel. So, you know, that's why I just want to give him credit, but I'm not saying I endorse everything he says or does, nor do I agree with his uh, heresy of Calvinism. But this, these clips are the, uh, this compilation essentially is the courtesy of Jeff Dollar. So I just want to give credit where, uh, you know, from the source of the material. So here it is. If you don't know who Bo Ballard is, I don't blame you because he's a pathetic loser. Nobody cares about him. Nobody likes him. He doesn't have any normal friends. Obviously, the only people who do like him are just freaks. Um, you know, the guy basically is a total psychopath, uh, mentally ill, and, uh, you know, he, he just, he's lost his mind. And so you guys had a bozo that's been gone for about a year now, and uh, Bo Ballard, right? So um, he was a total bozo, and so his name fits him, you know? It's a, he's a bozo. But, and uh, I heard that my son had made up a name called Humbo, because he's so <laughs> humble, right? I'm going to call someone out publicly this evening, but there's somebody in our Oklahoma City church plant his name is Bo Ballard, and he has just gone off the deep end. You're a liar. That's what you are. Okay. And you know what happens to railers? First Corinthians 5 already told us we throw them out of church. Uh, this is not how, how traditional Baptists or, you know, traditional saints, you know, essentially saints of Jesus Christ, this is not how we conduct ourselves. Okay, Matthew 18 lists out the proper ways. Okay, let's just say that Bo Ballard was actually in the wrong. And essentially all he did was criticize some stuff that Shelley did, and that was enough to apparently get him kicked out of the whole, the whole new IFB cult, which actually was a blessing in disguise when you really think about it. Because, you know, the new IFB cult, they just... A lot, of these, a lot of these pastors are not even qualified. They don't meet the qualifications in First Timothy chapter three, verse one to seven. A lot of them are just unstable, unstable and immature, and just can't stand it when you say anything about them, especially behind their back. They, they, they just have this big ego about themselves, which actually mirrors the the cult of Jack Hiles, which is actually the new IFB is essentially just the Ill, the illegitimate child of the Jack Hiles movement. It's essentially the the revival of this Jack Hiles mentality, where you just don't dare question the man of God. You know, and by the way, the term the man of God is never used as some kind of title for pastors. Okay, any person who's a servant of God is a man of God. Okay, it's not some kind of thing reserved for pastors, but the new IFB, they'll just berate this over and over again. And then anybody who detracts, so you got guys like Tyler Baker, or Adam Fannin, or Patrick Boyle who go against the movement, they're now the trash can Baptists. They now go out, you know, essentially they're now lost reprobates because, well, they went against. Anderson or any of his little puppet pastors who don't dare question anything Anderson says. So much for being an independent movement. Because in reality, this independent, you know, the independent Baptist movement is based around, you know, local autonomy. You know, essentially, each pastor is submissive to Jesus Christ, not some kind of pope. But the new IFB, they gave lip service to that, but really, they're submissive to Stephen Anderson because none of these pastors would dare have a speaker in that Anderson doesn't approve of, like someone like Sam Gibb or anything else. And whenever Anderson preaches against somebody or whenever somebody goes against Anderson, all the new IFB pastors will follow suit and preach against that same person regardless if it involves them or not. Plain and simple. That's not how a independent Baptist movement operates. That's how, that's how a cult operates. And this, how they went after Bo Ballard is just proof of the fact that this cultic mentality of the new IFB and this papal Islamic type of jihad they use against their detractors. 
So anyway, a lot of the point that uh, don't be deceived by the new IFB call. I was in this movement for about two years and I was seeing problems left and right. So it's I'm kind of, you could say I'm an insider per se. Hence why I spend so much time exposing the cult of Stephen Anderson. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with, be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.